What is up, guys? It is the John Gasm, aka your favorite YouTuber of all time, and coincidentally, the most handsome one that you're subscribed to. Don't even bother commenting telling me that I'm not, because I am. That's just facts. Believe it or not, I have not died. I am actually very much alive. I've just been pretty busy these past couple weeks. To be completely honest, I moved into college, as I told you guys in my last video I was going to be doing. I've been taking, you know, college classes, because usually that's what happens when you're in college. Um, so yeah, the main thing that's been really keeping me from making videos is college. Not necessarily college itself, but adjusting to college life, figuring out a schedule that works for me, and, you know, all that jazz that comes with... Uh, leaving home to further my education. But I want to say, don't quote me on this, but I want to say now that I've really adjusted to it, I think I will be able to have a better schedule for making videos from now on. At least I hope so. And also the background, um, yeah, it's kind of like my videos used to be when they were just in front of um, my bedroom door. For any of you guys who are fans, way, way before I started making conspiracy theories. But now, the door just kind of sucks because it's a towel rack, so you guys get to look at that um, instead of something cool, like in my bedroom at home. But that's basically it for the updates. I want to move on to the conspiracy theory because a lot of people always comment telling me that I ramble too much and just go into the theory because they're dickheads. So um, let's get into it. <laughs> The theory I want to talk about today is Adventure Time, and to prepare myself for this video, I watched every episode of Adventure Time that is on Netflix, and I believe that's only season one, maybe, yeah, just season one, uh, it's like 24 episodes, but they are 24 awesome episodes, and I cannot believe that I have not watched this show sooner. For those of you who don't know what the show is about, it's basically about a boy named Finn and his dog named Jake, and they go on adventures together to save the kingdom, well, all the kingdoms, from disastrous things happening to them. Now, that's what the show is about, but the background of the show? Much darker. Now, the gist of the theory is that the land where Adventure Time takes place is all a figment of Finn's imagination. His imagination's up here. It's not in his mouth. Now, in real life, when Finn was a boy, his father ran out on him and his mom. Without his dad, it was only Finn's mom responsibility to take care of Finn and make sure that he had a good life and that they were able to keep their house, pay all the bills, etc. To do this, she worked two jobs, and because of the fact that she was never home working two jobs, Finn never got to see her and he really lacked attention. Due to family problems, Finn growing up kind of became a little bit off and didn't really get along with other kids his age and his only friend was his loyal dog, Jake. Now a couple years later, when Finn turns 12, his dog Jake dies of old age and being that this was Finn's only friend, he gets extremely, extremely depressed. He tries to kill himself by overdosing on painkillers, but instead of dying, he puts himself into a coma. His mother rushed him to the hospital after finding him motionless on his bathroom floor, and he was immediately put on life support. Finn's doctors feared that he would never wake up out of his coma, and unfortunately, they were correct. Instead of waking him up, Finn's brain created a land where Finn would always be happy and devoid of all of the problems that he had in real life. His dog Jake was brought back to Finn, and they were able to experience all of the adventures that they imagined doing in real life. This included saving princesses, saving kingdoms, falling in love with Princess Bubblegum, and defeating the Ice King. Now, the Ice King was Finn's brain's way of helping him conquer all of those problems that he had in real life. Because if you notice, the Ice King has problems with girls no friends, and he's just basically socially retarded. Because of the fact that Finn was able to constantly defeat all of the problems that he had in real life and spend time with his best friend, his brain never woke him up out of this coma, and he spent the rest of his life in Adventure Time. Until his mom pulled the plug. Then he died. And that's basically the theory. To anybody who's curious where I got that or came up with it, it was inspired by a creepy pasta that I read, and I kind of put my own twist into it and added some more details that I liked that made the theory sound more legit. So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys really liked it. There's also another Adventure Time theory, which if anybody's ever able to find, you should definitely send me the link to it. It's a theory about um, the whole thing being post-apocalyptic. 
This one supposedly was confirmed by the creator, but I've never been able to find it on the internet. So if someone is able to find it, you should send it to me and I'll do that theory for Adventure Time as well. So thank you guys for watching. You were awesome to talk to. I Again, I'm sorry I was gone for so long, but I promise, I promise, I promise, because I love you so much that I will be making videos more often now that I've got my schedule figured out. I love you all so much. Thank you again for watching and stay fresh.